Welcome back to Going in Medieval, and it is time for Autumn in Year 2 in our survival series. Uh, last season, in the summer, of course, we got bombarded. We got we got some raids. We got quite a lot of raids, and we got one right at the end of the episode as well. So we're going to try and clean up this raid, and with that, I am going to start off by going through all of the items and making sure that none of these items are better than what I have currently got on some of my guys. So we're going to check the armor ratings, we're going to check the hit points, and go through all of that and just do that. While I do that, let's talk about the plan of action because I, I had a little think. And we need to do a lot more clay bricks. Clay bricks needs to be done now and we need to produce it at an alarming rate so i'm going to break the two kilns that are at the top of the tower that we placed the last episode i believe they're in a terrible spot you need to have your kilns all next to each other so one person can just dot around in between them as quick as possible get them all firing and then they can go off and do something else that is that is how you mid max because you are saving their time the more efficient they are, the more things they can do, the more things they do, the faster you progress. And in survival mode, you are racing against the computer because the computer will be uh, learning technologies as well and getting harder and progressively better as well throughout the raid. So that's one thing. So we need to build up our defenses. That means getting the flooring finished and doing a lot more as well. With that, we're also going to try and build the underground storage underneath the kitchen to try and get that finished. As soon as we get that finished, again, they can stop walking all the way over to the underground storage that we have by the tower at the moment. That is going to save them time. And we're also going to try and get the grand hall finished as well. With that, you know, if you get the grand hall finished, it is going to be a lot better as well because they're then going to eat in a grand hall. That is going to give them so many different booths. Like I said, they're going to have a meal. They're going to sit at a table. They're then going to sit uh, at a grand, in a grand hall as well. That's going to give them another happiness boost. So if they then slept in a bed, we're going to try and upgrade their beds and give them more rooms as well. Uh, they're going to have so many more happy booths. The happier they are, the quicker they work. And the less they're going to be whinging and moaning about things as well. Talking of whinging and moaning things, we need to make sure that they actually have good clothes on as well. That's another thing I'm really doing. I'm going to do a lot of tailoring. I want to get someone on that. We're going to assign someone to do that. We're going to trim down the jobs. I think my jobs at the moment are too spread out. We need to trim that down, work that all out, and then with that, we can clean it all up and get it a lot more efficient. And then we're just going to sit there and pray. We're going to pray we don't get too many raids because the quieter this season is, the quicker we can recover. Because I feel like we've had a slow start and we need to try and get the snowball rolling. We need to start picking up a bit of steam and catching up with the AI a little bit. If we do that, we can then start focusing on smithing. Once smithing is underway, we can get into having good armor. Once we start, uh, we're going to have better armor than the AI. We have better weapons than the AI really can start dominating raids and relaxing and then when we get to that state we can start building some pretty cool things we can start doing some massive churches for example or something like that and just start having a play around it and be a little bit more free with it so i'm going to start cracking on and i want to be back with you guys when i have an update day eight of autumn eight whole days without anything from the AI in a raid or a settler. We have now got a new settler with the threat of a raid coming. We have Gwen. She is on the menu for these cannibals. And she has a double interest in smithing. And she has decent carpentry. Yes. I, I think this is the kind of person that we need. We need someone to do smithing in the future. We definitely need someone with decent carpentry to crack on with that. High carpentry means you can then create crossbows in the future. And at the moment, crossbows are so, so powerful. Uh, I don't know if you've seen the little two-minute raid guide video I made. I had crossbows in that video, and they light up the enemy. Even at high difficulty, they really do light up the enemy. We do have two movable trebuchets inbound. That's an issue. 
that is an issue because we have not got clay brick walls up at all. We've done a lot of work on the base. We've done a solid amount of work. I'll go through that in a minute, but uh, a, a part of me, a part of me, wants to reject it at this point. I'm not even going to lie to you guys because I just don't want these movable trebuchets to light up my base. But that carpentry, that carpentry, we're going to have to do it. We're going to have to do the right thing. We're going to have to make sure that she's quitted out. At least she has leather clothing. What is the point? <laughs> she's so bad. Again, she's so bad. Like, speechcraft of 10, that's pointless. The double interest in smithing. She's going to have to do a lot of smithing. She needs to crack on with that. She's got motor function reduced. And she doesn't particularly, she's not particularly great at drinking either. Excellent manage. Let's uh, let's make sure that she puts armor on. I don't, I don't really care about that. Uh, winter sturdy. I want to explain that very quickly. Winter sturdy. I've just gone through and I've just made one where it's winter clothing and then sturdy minimum. It's going to make them less likely to whinge if they have a high stat point where they like to wear fancy clothes. They're still going to whinge at you, but sturdy is what we've got at the moment. We we've getting rid of flimsy. We're going to have sturdy clothing on all of them and eventually we'll upgrade to fine and then good and then uh, is it superior and then flawless. So for now, winter sturdy is what we are going with. We also need to make sure that we get this person a weapon as well and other little bits like that. So I'm going to get Gwen all quitted, uh, kitted out and ready for the fight and I'll get back to you when the raid is here. Here we go then. <laughs> They are here and we are ready to take these barbarians down. Now let's see where... Oh, 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 oh. They are one in position to the nearby tower. So you can use the tower to effect. But they're also behind this natural hole in the ground. So we might be able to use the fact that that is there. Let them either go one way or split their army and then attack around one side to wipe out the trebuchets before they do too much damage to the base. That's the plan. The, the plan is to go and hopefully, hopefully they just go one way. If they just go like to the right, we can then just sneak around the left. Or maybe like you're going to have a straggler or two, but if we're in a good enough pack... That would be fine. As you can see, I have actually finally moved those kilns out of the way. And I've done a lot of work to the base. Mainly that. Uh, we've got reinforced doors now. Reinforced doors are up. We have still got wooden walls, which is a shame. But that's, that's that. We've got the clay flooring uh, down. So all of those bedrooms are back to being bedrooms and not outside. Right. Let me, let me get everyone in position to get this fight underway. Let's draft everybody. And where do we want to be putting all of our archers? Are they gonna go for the base or do we just need to pile them into the tower? Let's just put them all in the tower. Put them all in the tower and then we'll put all of our melee units, hopefully down the left hand side. I, I think we'll probably put them near the tower though. What do we do? We'll put them there and then we'll see what way they go. And then we'll react to where they're going. That is going to be the best way of doing this. Right, let's get them moving into position. We'll then spread out the archers. Hopefully they come down the right hand side. Can they come through the middle? There's a, there's a ramp down there, isn't there? There is a ramp down there. If they come down there, then they're going to run into our traps. That would be excellent, that would. Let's see, they are quite spread out at the moment. Let's select the melee hewlets and let's watch them wait. Let's see if they've got a... They give me an idea where they're going. Have they got a thing? Oh, trebuchet shot straight into my base already. And uh, what's he hit? What's he hit? What's he hit? Roof? What's he hit? That one. Yeah, that's a two shot, isn't it? It's a two shot to take out of my roof. And bang, straight into that. There you go. There's, there's two parts of the roof gone. Hey, roof! useless we need it we need a better we need another use for hay because at the moment we only have the hay roofs and the beds and yeah you, you we need something else because otherwise there's no other point of having tall grass at the moment uh unless you're going to build large large areas right you shoot redmond shoot redmond they've gone down the left they've gone down the left so let's go down the right okay they're split they have definitely definitely split 
Rose Munda. You're going to have to split down this side. We're going to have to cover both sides of this tower the best we can. Who are we going to move? Bum off. You go down the right. You can cover the melee units because you're the best at that. Tidgar. Um, come join. Yeah, come join. Bum off on the right. William, you stay there because you're shooting that archer at range at the moment. Bum off. You can attack him because he's about to come down and engage all our melee units. Where are we going to take these melee units? I could just take him back up and go around, couldn't I? Or do I take him down here? Take him down there. Nope, nope, nope. Round there. Round there. They're in range of bum off. Bum off can do the damage. We can pick up the easy kills. Tip. Why are you. What? If you're going to target him, come over here at least. That'll do. Right, there's three on this side. You can help that. Someone's walking down the ramp on the left hand side I just saw, so they're going to be attacking that. There's an easy dub. And now this guy is in the center because he's trying to engage with. Uh, it's going to try and come through and attack our melee units. Right, let's get the melee units coming up to this guy. Let's get him up. Oh, good hit to 25 damage. That's a big sword swing. <sighs> Got two more coming down the ramp. Tud's the man, dude. Tud is, could, Tud is like the melee dude. Do we need bum off? You're attacking him. William, what are you do? Don't attack him. Bum off. Uh, him at the back. Rasmunda, Tidgar, him, that just makes more sense. You guys are crossed up at the moment. You should win that fight, guys. Win it. Please win it. There we go. Now he has a 4v1. You can win that fight. He's nearly dead. One more swing from someone. Tud, big swing, big damage. Easy dub. Is there any uh, armor to pick up quickly? No. Right. To that. Run, run, run. Oh, he's, he's so dead, dude. He's so dead by the freaking bomb off. It's not even a fight. There we go. He's out. Rosmunda's melee. Uh, the marksman skills up. We've got Maria's melee skills up. There's an attack on that. The trebuchet. One trebuchet down. They don't attack straight away, but they come out of the trebuchet, and that's weird. If I'm honest, I like it. I just get to ignore them and then go on to attack the the, the next trebuchet, which you know is wrong. But was it? Oh, what the? Hang on. How did he get him? Oh no, he broke the door down. So I'm going to target him. Rosamunda, run away. Run away. Someone shoot him, someone shoot him. Someone... How did you... Did you freaking broke the arrow? Or did you hit his armour? You hit his armour. You freaking melon. Someone kill him. Oh my word. Oh, Rosamunda just punched him to death. You love to see it. You do love to see it. Right, you're now being targeted because they're all released from their trebuchets and they're actually doing damage. Moina, can you attack him? Tud is actually getting damaged and we got a big dub. 10 dead. Love to see it. The set has come out to attack at the altar of 1354. Your deal. Oh, three, 3 hours 22 minutes is quite quick. Uh, bomb off for the most damage as always. You love to see that. Hood uh, took the most damage. Think of early himself defending Cyforking good in its hour of need. Brilliant. And Florence blocked the most uh, hits. Florence with a good shield then. Love to see that. Some of the buildings were destroyed under the bombardment of the enemy weapons. Wicker floor, wood flooring. Uh, there's a wooden floor and a wooden door as well. All in all, very, very good. Right, now we need a big clean-up job. We need to clean this guy up first. He can get absolutely smashed. I think Wimf... I don't think I believe how to get uh, him. Am I? I'm drafting you guys. You guys can start the clean-up job. You guys can... No, stay drafted. Kill him. Then get undrafted. Then when now can you get him? Gwen oh, You had the chance, Gwen. You had the chance to kill them all, but you failed. Now it's time to go through all of this armor again, see if we can improve on what we have and do a cleanup job because there is a lot of stuff to clean up. Yes again. And that just means look, 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 look. I know you're injured, I know you go back to base. Stop. Luina, pick that up, haul it back to base, then you can get on with your day. 
you might as well pick it up as you're already here because otherwise you're going to have to walk here at a later date and that's going to be a waste of time, isn't it? Yes. Right, so I'll be back if there's another raid. There is a couple more days, you never know in this game. Well, it is day 12 of autumn, so let's have a quick run through of what we've done. Research wise, this is what we're up to. We've got armor 2 now, we've got steel. Steel is going to be a great thing that we're going to turn our iron into steel. The steel will then make armor, and I think you get a higher chance, you get higher hit points. That's what steel has. Steel has a higher hit points. We also have cooking. And that means that we can now start making lavish meals as well when we have the herbs for it. And we also get the kitchen, which is 144% boost to production. Um, that is exactly what you want. That is going to be quick. That's going to be great. That's going to help out all of these guys. That also boosts the butchery table as well. Excellent for that. And yeah, of course, lavish meals are going to take a herb. Have 148 so we might start making a few lavish meals because the lavish meal is going to give uh, them the happy boost as well which is going to go on top of the sleeping in a bed which we have improved some of the beds uh, which is going to go on top of the great hall which has been completed as well the great hall is here and it is here to stay that is an excellent and as we are underground you can obviously see the free storage area which has been done and we're putting in a tunnel so they can grab the food walk to the great hall eat their meal and get on with their day so that is a great boost bedrooms done tailoring as you can see has also been cracked on with that is been good we've moved the trees from the side of the base because that was being annoying and uh, yeah i'm just going to check all of the happiness look job satisfaction is another one as well if you can get them doing a job that they like that's going to give them a boost we've also stepped into a uh, oak temple or oak brethren temple should i say so that's going to give them a happy boost as well going into the right uh religion building that they have i'm going to make sure that i've got all the heaters on ready for the winter because it is about to be winter and it is going to be a chilly one just have a feeling it was too easy of an autumn too easy of an autumn and it is going to be worrying but the amount of work we have done to the base huge huge amounts i had to rebuild one of these sides uh because it got absolutely shredded currently uh they just released a tweet about this actually the developers currently trebuchets can go through walls and do damage that to inside items and i do not like that i'm not a fan of that they made a tweet i made a post about that that's also been a discussion in their discord so hopefully something that, that they fix in the future, that, that might be quite a hard thing because the trebuchet is firing a projectile, they're going to have to try and do something with the coding there. That's for them to solve. Uh, we've also made a good indent into picking up clay. As you can see, we've got a lot more clay to pick up. So winter-wise, I think we're going to need a building that we can do some digging inside of so the people are happy because once we start doing that, they can then start making a lot more clay brick because the clay brick is going to be turning into walls next spring. I don't want to be doing too much construction in the winter because it is cold and they are going to be annoyed very, very quickly. But that is that. I shall catch you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. I've been TW1. This is Going Medieval Survival Series. Hit like, hit subscribe and peace out.